what is going on guys this is asim arif and today in this video i am going to show you how to fix your two-factor authentication problem on facebook without using your government issued documents yes guys you will not need to submit any form given by facebook and the two-factor authentication will be removed immediately from your facebook accounts i will share with you two methods the first one can be used for all kind of accounts either you turn down your two-factor authentication via phone number or the google authenticator app but the second method will only be used on those accounts where the two-factor authentication was turned on via phone number and there are 99% chances that you will use the second method if you turned on your two-factor authentication via phone number. Now without any further ado, let's get started. And guys if you want me to keep uploading new videos then support me by subscribing to my channel and press the bell icon and select all to get notified for every new video. Firstly guys we will open any browser installed in the phone and then we will go to facebook.com. Here first let me show you the facebook account which is stuck down two factor authentication page. This is the phone number listed in the account and then we will type the password and then we will log in. Okay, now you can see the two-factor authentication is turned on on this Facebook account. You can also note the name of this account here and the name is Harry. Now as I told you before that I will share with you two methods in this video to fix your two-factor authentication problem. So let's see the first method. Mostly people don't log out their Facebook account from the Facebook Messenger app so check. If your account is still logged in there then go to your Messenger app. Tab on your profile at the top left corner of the screen. Then scroll all the way down and select account settings. Then go to security and login. Then use two factor authentication. And guys if you see this error message try again then you will need to use the VPN application. I am going to use touch VPN in this video. I will also give its link in video's description so you can easily download it from there. And after downloading and installing this in your device simply open it. Tab on best choice. And then select United States from the given list of countries or you can also select any other country from this list it doesn't matter. And then we will tab on connect. And then again we will go back to messenger. We will go back, then again we will go to account settings, then security and login, then use two factor authentication, then it will ask you to enter your Facebook password, it is just for security purpose so let's enter the password here and then we will tab on continue. And now you can see we are not getting any error message. Now either you can turn off your two factor authentication by tabbing on this turn off option or you can use the recovery codes given by Facebook. If you will scroll down then you will get some recovery codes here if you tab on it. And then if you tab on get codes then you will get 10 recovery codes by Facebook. You can use these codes on 10 unrecognized devices or browsers or I should say you can use these codes to log into your Facebook account 10 times. And keep in mind that each code will be used only once. Now it totally depends on you. Either you can turn off your two-factor authentication by tabbing on the turn off option as I showed you before or you can use these recovery codes to log into your Facebook account. But for now I am going to use this first recovery code here and then I will tab on submit code and then we will get two options. Either we can save the browser by selecting the first one or if we don't want to save the browser then we can select the second one. But for now I don't want to save the browser so I will select the second one and then I will tab on continue. Then I will select my browser here I am using internet browser so I will select it. And then you can see we are successfully logged into our Facebook account. So guys this was the first method but it can only be used if your account was logged in in messenger. And if your account was not logged in in messenger then you can use the second method that I am going to show you now. Now guys let's see the second method and don't skip the video from this part now because it's very important and your problem is going to be solved within few seconds after following this method. And I also want to clear one thing here that this method can only be used if you turn on your two-factor authentication via the phone number. And if you turn on the two-factor authentication via the Google Authenticator app then you can watch my previous video on it. You can find that video in the iCards. Okay guys so now let's get into the second method. 
For that you will need any other fake Facebook account or you can also borrow a Facebook account of your friend for some time and then you will need to log in that account here in this browser. Like I am doing here this is my fake account and I am going to log in this account here. After typing the password I will log in. Then I will tab on not now. Ok now you will need to go to the settings of this Facebook account by tapping on the three horizontal lines at the top right corner of the screen. Then scroll down and go to settings. Then go to personal information. Then contact info. Then tab on add a phone number. And now listen me carefully guys you have to enter that phone number here from which you turned on your two factor authentication in the original account. I am repeating this again. You have to enter that phone number here from which you turned on your two factor authentication in the original account. And in case if you don't have any other fake Facebook account or your friend is not giving you his or her account then don't worry in that case you will need to create a new Facebook account with that phone number from which you turned on your two factor authentication in the original account. And always make a new Facebook account using the official Facebook app. If you will create a new account using the browser then your account will get disabled instantly. Ok so always make a new Facebook account using the official Facebook app. And now guys I am going to enter that phone number here from which I turned on my two factor authentication in the original account and then I will tab on continue. And now I am getting this error message the phone number you are trying to verify was recently used to verify a different account. Ok. As I recently created a new account with this phone number a few hours before just to show you the process in this video that's why I am getting this error message but you will not get this error you will get a verification code to your phone number and then you will need to enter that verification code here and after that your phone number will be confirmed in this fake account it is very important step you have to confirm your phone number in the fake account ok guys and after confirming the phone number when you will log in your original account then the two factor authentication will be removed from your original account. And this method works perfectly guys, I have shared this method with many people and I got a positive response. That's why I am sharing this method with you. And I know that you will not believe without any proof, that's why I have collected some proofs for you. So now let's see the proofs. Here guys you can see this is one of my subscribers who emailed me and she was basically having an issue of two factor authentication on her 8 to 9 years old Facebook account. I asked her did you set up your two factor authentication via the phone number then she said in Roman Urdu. She didn't remember but probably she had turned it on via the phone number. After that I shared with her all the steps that I showed you in this video. You can read these steps if you want by pausing the video. And I asked her to try it. And then she said it really worked within few seconds. And here there is another person that I am going to show you now. Here there is another person who was also having the same issue. And I also shared with him the same steps and asked him to try it and this also worked for him. So now I hope you are now completely satisfied. So this was all about today's video. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did give this video a huge thumbs up, share the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will catch you in the next one. Till that, goodbye.